by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. The UNI Panthers go on the road, take on the defending Big Sky champion, Sacramento State. UNI comes away with a 34-16 road victory as UNI goes to 1-1 one one on the season. Coach, uh, uh, a tough challenge for you. Really hot out there at the start of the game. And uh, the first quarter, really the first half, was just a battle between UNI and Sacramento State. It was. It was a great battle. That first hour in the sun it was definitely a factor in the football game for us because it, there was some wear of, of the heat along with the play. But uh, we really was back and forth in that first half, and uh, and we got to halftime. We we're still in good shape. We we're somewhat frustrated though because we wanted to stop them better than what we did, and we didn't quite move the ball as good as we wanted to. You and I rushing attack was a big story in this game. Vance McShane, his first carry, takes it into the end zone for a 13-yard score to put your Panthers up. Up early and gave you your only score that first half. We did. Well, what came out of the first half was our rushing game. That was that was something that was very positive. That's what we talked about at halftime. Where we are, we can run the ball against these guys. We're effective. There were some big runs, and it had a lot to do with the offensive line. But again, you had Vance McShane, you had uh, 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 Vance, you had uh, Dom led the way Dom. with 97 yards. Dom did a great job, and so did Braddock. 42 rushing attempts. How much of a focus or maybe even a challenge to that UNI offensive line uh, did your coaching staff put out there? Well, we went after. That's that's UNI football. We have to have that kind of rushing attack and, and more than one running back to, to run that many times. And we have a good stable of running backs that have proven now that they can rush the football. And I really think our offensive line is getting better each week. The defense came up with two first quarter turnovers. Uh, Kuvalier fumble recovery, Benny Sapp with an interception. Uh, the defense gave up three field goals in that first half, but they were pretty stingy. They were stingy. We we got we were confused. So we, we had our times where we felt we wanted to play better, but the two turnovers really kept us uh, it kept them out of the end zone, which really helps a lot when you're only giving up three points and and yet uh, gave us time to rebound a little bit and, and reconfigure so we could stop them. After halftime, the UNI Panthers came out of the locker room and blew the doors off of Sacramento State. Coach uh, Theo Day comes in at quarterback, replacing Will McIlvain. Uh, hits a big play to Isaiah Weston on that first uh, on that first drive. Really set the tone for that third quarter. Well, it ignited everybody in this, on the on the football team. What was really different about the second half is the defense went out and played great defense, three and out stop. And then when they punted to us, when Theo went out there, we made that drive and scored in that first series. And then the long play to, uh, to Isaiah. And it just ignited everybody and gave energy back to everybody. And that's where we really took off. Four touchdowns in that third quarter, two rushing, two passing. Did you see that balance you wanted in that third quarter? Oh, definitely. It was, uh, it was an exciting third quarter. It was when you, when you put up four, four scores in, in, in a quarter, that's, that's definitely exciting. But again, there was great defensive play. There was great O-line play. And uh, of course, there was great quarterback play. What did you see from Theo Day in his first appearance as a UNI Panther that shows you that uh, he's going to be capable of leading this offense when he's out there? Well, that was it was a difficult decision to make going coming out in the second half because Will has done so well for us overall for the past couple of years, and we had to do something there just to ignite it, and I thought that was the best time to see what Theo could do and because uh, we haven't been around Theo on game day. But Theo has prepared every day like he was going to be the starter, and what really stood out to me was his calmness, his leadership, uh, uh, how he took that uh, control of the football team, his demeanor, all those things made a difference. Uh, and I think, and of course, his play was, was, was a difference maker. Isaiah Weston had a big day receiving wise, uh, found the end zone. He also had Quan Hampton find the end zone uh, for the second straight game. The receiving core, did you like what you saw out of them? Well, oh, absolutely. And I think we even could have done better. But uh, when you go back and look at it, uh, Isaiah is getting better each week. As you can see his confidence growing now that he's back in the fold and, and through the years that he's been through you know it takes time to get that confidence back and he's shown it each week and uh, and of course Quan is a difference maker for us so it's it's been a very uh, good two weeks of progressive and progressively getting better and we need to continue 34 16 was the final you and i gets a big sky win in their non-conference portion of the schedule we haven't even talked about the defense yet six turnovers that's coming up next more with coach farley after this